I will. So first of all, I'd like to thank you, Nurulla, for uh, for your uh, chairmanship because uh, you know it's not the easiest part uh, to be uh, you know to be uh, uh, adding cats and uh, and keeping the time. And uh, so thank you very very much for that. That was very efficient, very well done. So thank you for that. I mean, of course, uh, the thanks is not limited to just the chairmanship uh, and but also for the organization. Use this opportunity also to thank uh, Justine. Uh, the, the Water A team uh, for, for all the support for, uh, for the organization of this meeting, which I think was a great, uh, I mean, for me, was a great success. So, uh, again, uh, I, I don't want to be too long, uh, but I think this today was again very, uh, very interesting. Um, <clears throat> so, we, we had an overview of the, uh, the different work package and, uh, you know, the strategy. And of course, at the end of the day, uh, the list is extremely long, and but I think this is a, this was a very important exercise uh, to also define all the things that need to be done. Of course, it seems obvious that in the future there might be some need for prioritization and uh, uh, you know choosing uh, where the, the low hanging fruit, etc. But I think nevertheless it's very important for all of us, and for me in particular, to have an understanding, a better understanding of all the needs and all the things that should be done that might not necessarily be that the working group and, and the GTFCC secretariat will not be necessarily in the position to deliver in short time. But that's also a way to, for me to be able to do that also for advocacy, because we cannot cover everything. I mean, you know, the, the, the and, and that was mentioned, I mean, you know, the, the most of you have, uh, I mean, all of you actually <laughs> have a normal job. So, um, uh, so of course, nobody can spend, uh, uh, you know, 100% uh, uh, of their time on this kind of thing. So, uh, but for me, I think it was very important to go through this exercise. You have made already the, the, the conclusion and decision. Some things can be merged, uh, reintegrated, or whatever. But in any case, having the global picture is something which is very important. After, we will space out. That could be a way to leverage some resources. We'll see. OK? Uh, so thank you very much for that. The second part, I mean, of course, was very interesting to uh, to listen to country uh, uh, experience and feedback. This is really, uh, I think, one of the added values of these kind of meetings. Um, so I'm not going to go, of course, on all the presentation, but there are just a few things I'd like to underline. I mean, for most of the country, with, with a little, uh, some exception, but we are having the same kind of situation, a mix between crisis and endemicity. OK, so uh, it's Nigeria. Uh, where the outbreak is very clearly fueled by the conflict in the north, uh, 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 northwest uh, Cameroon border, everywhere. Far more. Okay, well, <laughs> you presented that better than me. The same for Cameroon. The same for Mozambique. Uh, so, um, uh, so that's that's very clear. However, there is endemicity, and and this are intrinsically linked, and they this endemicity will not be solved by only emergency response. So this is where, again, coming back to the, the, uh, the discussion about the, the uh, cholera is not just an emergency issue. It's not an health issue. Uh, it's, it's a global issue. Uh, uh, the uh, looking it at health, it's just treating, we, by addressing only the health issue, we're only treating the symptom, not the disease. So um, uh, it's, it's a wash and uh, community engagement that could treat, uh, uh, not, not treating patient, but treating the, uh, the, the disease as a cause. So, uh, so that was very, uh, very interesting. I also like, I mean, you know, the, the uh, I mean, DSC, of course, was a very good example of that. Uh, you know, the mix with conflict and ethnicity. The things which I also is, I would like to, to, to thank you for that. It's also the, the very high level of transparency. Uh, of you know information that were shared to, about the difficulties, the challenges, the uh, the the, uh, the complexity, uh, uh, you know, for for uh, accessing water, for example, in DRC, the challenge in, in Bangladesh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is really with this kind of very open exchange, uh, and I think this is a kind of change for over the years, and things are improving. I mean, 
there are more and more of these uh, uh, transparent exchange that are, that are taking place. And this is really on, on that that we are going to be. So that's, so thank you very much for, for, for the trust uh, uh, and for, uh, for moving forward with that. So uh, the, um, we have seen, uh, uh, and I just would like to, to step a little bit on, on uh, to stop a little bit, not to step on, to stop a little bit on, Cong on, on Congo. I mean, this is a very good example of uh, the complexity of the context. It's a very challenging country, the size of a continent uh, with conflict, Ebola, the war, the floods, et cetera, et cetera, the political issue, et cetera, with huge progress. 2021, you saw a peak. This is a peak that has been seen everywhere. So, but this should be used as a kind of trigger, also or, uh, a sword toward the authorities. This is what is going to happen if we don't continue investing in cholera control. It will come back. So, uh, but I think it's very encouraging to see the the the, the big progress that uh, that have been done. Um, uh, and that's really a kind of, you know, leading, paving the way for other countries to follow the same step. I mean, uh, uh, and I think India, I don't know how complex this country is, so congratulations for the, the progress that have been made. But also what was very interesting is the diversity of the situation. You know, Togo, with remaining small hotspots that will continue being coming back from neighboring country, but also spreading to other country that need a very specific approach uh, to, to include the community, to address specific problem and, and the need of, you know, having not the one fit all does not work and will not work. We need to adjust our strategy. And to conclude on, on, uh, on that, it's, uh, you know, I think the example you, you show, uh, uh, Tom, about, you know, what can we do about, you know, wash assessment? This is what we need to, 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 to continue doing. It's more of this kind of, you know, proof of concept, if I may say, in that we need to support, we need to develop because, um, uh, so it's simple, it's relatively cheap with or without OCV, but also for monitoring because, we are not here at this stage, but you know, you are saying, okay, you know, if we need to have another vaccination in three years, uh, my analysis of the situation today is, unless country have very good reason to not get vaccine in the same area for revaccination again and again and again. So uh, uh, the need to document the difficulty, uh, the progresses, and again, we all know that the road will be bumpy, there will be some complexity. Nigeria was a good example of multiple revaccination in the same area in Boshi because of uh, population movement and conflict, etc. So Rohingya camps, it's also uh, uh, another example of the reality. Uh, you know, when you have major influx of people coming back and movement, so you don't even know who is vac was vaccinated or not, will require multiple vaccination. But in most countries, no. Vaccination will buy time. We stop the outbreak, reduce the burden, and buy time for wash to be implemented. So this monitoring, uh, you know, something simple, cheap, uh, or relatively cheap to implement, <laughs> uh, to be able to monitor, this is a kind of, uh, you know, guidance we need to, to, uh, uh, to continue. And we'll conclude on that one, but uh, I'm just trying to be uh, not too strong, but the water quality, uh, the, 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 the uh, quality testing of water, I mean, I'm sorry, cannot be just optional. You know, it must be a must. I mean, we are in the 21st century and people are still drinking water contaminated with feces. I mean, so, so the, the, the thing is we need to find ways to, to uh, you know, for, for advocacy, uh, how to integrate this water testing, for example, with the strengthening of laboratory capacity or, or other things, but it's uh, uh, Claudio showed it this morning, it's very simple, very cheap. Uh, uh, anybody can do it, so um, almost anybody. Um, so we need to find a way to change this paradigm then, okay, it's not just about providing water and inshallah, maybe the water is good, maybe it's not. No, we need to have this way of monitoring. And this is also a way also, if we can, for advocacy, including for government to, in, to, to, to uh, we need to demonstrate that the water that are provided to the population is not safe. We know it, they know it. But we have to prove it. 
to, to put the politician and the, the partners and the donor in front of their responsibility. So it will be impossible to get you know, data from everywhere. Let's start small, but small areas, an outbreak, whatever, but we need to document. And documenting does not mean to have, you know, uh, you know, for necessarily large survey, big work. No, we need to find ways to gather the information that are available to, you know, the thing that does not generate additional work, but to put things together so that we can collectively use it, uh, you know, as a, as a trigger to kind of, you know, force donors and uh, uh, partners, government to invest in the area that are the less interesting for them. I mean, we all know, I mean, you know, it's not very sexy to put water in slums and uh, uh, in peripheral area where people are, uh, you know, uh, they don't vote or, uh, or they're, they're minorities or, or vulnerable population anyway. It's much more sexy to have uh, running water and fountain in, in, uh, in a wealthy area in many of the cities. So, so we need to change this paradigm. So, and this can be done only with all your uh, uh, contribution for, for uh, you know, support for the country, uh, you know, for the partner to develop this kind of thing, simplify the work, but also from the country to help us to gather this evidence, uh, whatever they are, they are not going to be perfect. Who cares about things being perfect, okay? So, but to have some things that we can use collectively to make stronger advocacy that this has to stop. So, uh, and now it's my time to stop. So. <laughs> So uh, I really want to thank all the people who, uh, uh, who listen online. I know it's, uh, it's not necessarily the other part, but really uh, uh, for you to take the time to come here in, uh, in, uh, in Les Pensiers and Nancy. Uh, I really enjoy the level of interaction, the quality of the presentation. I think we have made a lot of progress. The road is going to be very long. Uh, I just want to use the opportunity also to thank, I mean, of course, the Fondation Mario for the organization. They are the ones who are doing the, all the heavy lifting about, uh, you know, bring you here. Um, and no role I've already done. Uh, uh, Marianne, Matteo, and Valentina, thank you very much for your support, as usual. But uh, it's always a pleasure being there. <laughs> Uh, and clearly, okay, again, all the countries, we will need more from you. So thank you for being there and for the partner to be here.